Philippine Indigenous Arts, Ancient and Pre-Spanish Era It is believed that the first inhabitants in the Philippines arrived over many thousand of years ago. It is commonly thought that they migrated over a land bridge which existed at the time from Asian mainland. The next known inhabitation is when the Negrito or Aita arrived in the island. However, they were driven back by several waves of immigrants from Indonesia only to be followed by maritime peoples of Malayan island. Philippine Indigenous Arts Sculpture or carving, pottery, weaving, physical ornaments Sculpture is a three-dimensional artwork created by shaping or combining hard materials, typically stone such as marble, metal, glass or wood, or plastic materials such as clay, textiles, polymers, and softer materials. Carving is one of the techniques used in sculpture. Bulol are carved anito figures of the Ifugaos. This represent their ancestral spirit, granary gods, seated Ifugao Bulol at the end, conclusion of the annual Ifugao harvest ritual. The Bulol placed in the rice granaries are considered guardians of the harvest. Ifugao Sculpture The Sari Manok shown above are the most well-known of all designs. The Sari Manok, the figure represent a fowl with wings, feathered tails, and a head decorated with ornaments of scrolled and painted motif of leaves, spirals, and feather-like forms. It is usually stands on the fish and another one hangs from its beak. The wooden figure usually perched atop a bamboo pole, stands among the decorative flags during the wedding and other festive occasions. Ang hagabi ay isang upo ang kahoy ng mga ifugao na sumisimbolo ng panlipunang katayuan ng isang mayaman. O isang mamamayan, ito ay nagpapakita ng yaman at kapangyarihan ng may-ari. Nakadalasan ay isang kadanagyan. Kadanagyan o isang taong nabibilang sa mataas na antas sa lipunan, ito ay kadahilan ng tanging ang mga mayayaman lamang na may kakayahang magpagawa nito kasama na ang ritual na ipnagdiriwang sa oras matapos ang pagbuo nito. Ang hagabi ay isang upo ang kahoy na gawa ng nara o ipil. Original na anyo nito ay tinatawag na ginol golding na ang ibig sabihin ay kagaya ng kambing. Ginol golding sapagkat sa dalawang dulo ng upuan ay mayroong nakaukit na animoy ulo ng kambing. Sa kasalukuyan, ang hagabi ay may iba't ibang anyo. Ang isang dulo nito ay tinatawag na niwi ay kagaya na ng ulo ng isang hayop na may mahabang ilong at dalawang malaking tainga. The Turugan or the ancestral home of the Maranao Sultan or Dato One of the richest survivors of the Philippines' pre-Spanish art is Maranao decorative art described by critics as graceful and rhythmical. The floor beams of the house project beyond the walls and the ends of the panolong such as the decorative figure are carved and multicolored. The panolong is a carved end beam of the turogan, pottery objects that are first shaped of wet clay then hardened by baking. Pottery includes both decorative and practical items such as bowls, spaces, dishes, and lamps. Pottery in the Philippines varies in forms and function. The form of the pots are directly influenced by the function of the pots and the tradition of the community from the local area. Palayok The Manunggul Zar Ang tapayan sa Manunggul ay isang banga na ginamit sa paglibing ng mga sinaunang tao sa Palawan noong 890 to 710 BC. Ang banga ay ukul sa sekundaryang paglilibing kaya ang mga buto lamang ng yumao ang laman nito. Itinuturing itong pambansang kayamanan ng Pilipinas. The Manunggul Jar ay nakatatak 
sa isang libong pera. Manong Guljar is a national treasure of the Philippines. A secondary burial jar is designated item 64 MO74 in the National Museum of the Philippines, Manila. The jar was found in a chamber of the Tabon Cave, one of the Manungul Caves in Palawan. The jar is dated about 2,800 BC, years before the present. It was found by Robert Fox and Miguel Santiago. Talita-Lita Cave Archaeology Lita-Lita Cave, Langin Island, El Nido, Palawan, was excavated in 1965 by Dr. Robert Fox. The Lita-Lita Cave is an important burial site belonging to the late Neolithic period where an assemblage of stone and shell artifacts associated with sophisticated pottery Nipright, adzes, and axes were discovered. Other materials include stone ornaments, shell bins, weaving means to make clothes and other objects. Thread or strands of materials are passed under over each other. Weaving in the Philippines has different forms, functions, and materials. They also vary in design techniques used. Most of the common forms of weaving in the Philippines are in the form of hats, mats, bags, baskets, and textiles, clothes, or blankets. Example of weaving, basket, hats, and clothes. A malong, bearing ochre design. The Maranaos call their ornamental design ochre, a general term for both scroll and geometric form. Ochre design. Ochre, a dato gentleman design. The scroll is the dominant feature in the men's work, composed of various spiral forms. In contrast, the zigzag and the angular forms are dominating motifs in women. The most popular of all the Malong style is the landa, which is either dominantly red, yellow, green, blue, or violet. Red is the favorite color Along with yellow, this color stands for royalty or aristocracy. Often men wear the red land up and the women the yellow. Physical ornaments Buntuk, Ifugao, Kalinga tribal textiles with a variety of silver and brass. Ling Lingo, fertility charms. Shell, board, tusk, rattan, fiber, fiber and bone. Physical ornamentation can be categorized to three areas, specifically the use of traditional costume, jewelries and tattoos. The design vary depending on the location. The Filipino Bawisak earrings. This is traditional Ifugao tribe in northern Luzon. Bead and shell bawisak earrings. The bottom shell design have been described as either representing butterflies. The Ifuga warrior silver lingo lingo earring pair and pendants. Traditional Filipino tattoos. The Philippine tribal costume. The Bilaan are one of the indigenous people of southern Mindanao in the Philippines. They are famous for their brasswork, beadwork, tinalak weave. The people of these tribes will wear colorful embroidered native costumes. In Kalinga, Kalinga are called the peacocks of the north because of their attention to appearance of dressing. Kalinga is Landlock province of Northern Cordillera. Kalinga means enemy, name that bordering inhabitants. The Tibuli. The Tibuli distinguish themselves from other tribal groups by their colorful clothes, bracelets, earrings. This tribe is famous for their complicated beadwork. The Bagubu are proud people with Tutu Malayan features. 
they have ornate traditions in weaponry and other metal arts. They are noted for their skill in producing brass articles through the ancient lost wax process. These people also these people also weave abaca clothes of earth tones and make baskets that are trimmed with beads, fibers, and horses' hair. How does Philippine folk indigenous art reflect nature and the life of common folk? Philippine folk art reflects nature and the life of the common folk through various media techniques and process based on the factors of time, climate, resources, ideas, and historical cultural context. Thank you for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe the channel.